Hi, this is Pakoda. In this video I will show unused content in the Shrek choose a game for PC and show a few things you can see in the game, but you can only understand it if you look through the files. This is the hardest video for me at this point, not in terms of editing, but in terms of gathering information, so if you enjoyed, please like it and subscribe to the channel. You can also write something in the comments. And then there will be more videos like this in the future. Let's start with what's involved in the levels themselves. If you have seen my video with the secrets of the game, link will be above. There I showed that on the first level Shrek Swamp, if we use the ghost mod, we can go to the map of Shrek Swamp from the cutscene. But there are also a few boxes. Boxes with male peasants and potions. A fairy godmother. And a female peasant that we can only meet here. There is also an unfinished version of the poison apple tavern. And this is what the finished version looks like. The first level is supposed to teach potions up to be watch the fairy godmother commercial at the vending machine. When we see the commercial, the fairy godmother and the narrator voice lines are used with the designation VGM Potion Tut, which of course stands for Fairy Godmother Potion Tutorial. Similar phrases are found in the models in the boxes. Let's listen to them. The peasant man. Thanks. The bandit who is not in the box. Hey baby, mind if I cut in? The peasant woman. Ma hero! <laughs> we are supposed to move to the tavern map where we are allowed to use potions on enemies for training. About the woman peasants, it's not quite clear if we are really supposed to fight them in the levels or if we are only supposed to use them for the training. The woman peasants have five models and they also have their own lines in the voicing of the game. The lines of the woman peasants go together with the lines of citizen women, which you can hear on the Mongol level, and there aren't many of them, so I propose listening to them all. Greetings, fair sir. That's a nice one. <laughs> Fancy a bit of that. Care for a drink, stranger? New to these parts, are you? <laughs> Quite nice, that. Here alone, then? A feast for the eyes, you are. Help! Help! Help me! Help! Beast, come to eat us! I'm allergic to gingerbread! What a way to go! I'll not be killed by no gingerbread man! Make it stop! Is this happening? Uh, I'm dreaming! Somebody save me! Help! It's the end of us! Head for the hills! Ah! An abomination! Ah! Oh! oh no! Hurry! Ah! No! Evacuate! Up to the wee! Us. Magic carbohydrate on the loose! Oh no! Death by cookie! Giant pastries eating our loved ones! Not again! Death by cookie! How embarrassing! Somebody, anybody, save me! Ah! Make it stop! It's too delectable! Help! Love hurts! Oh, you're so handsome! So sweet! Now go on! Give me a kiss. Never leave me. You're the love of my life. Say you'll be mine. Let's love it for sight. <laughs> Poo! Don't breathe! Stinky, stinky! Help! Oi! Oh no! Oh! Eek! Huh? Ho! What in the. Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Ouch! Ow! Ah! Ooh! Ah! 
more hero. <laughs> As you heard, the first phrases may well correlate to the cute training with potions in the Poison Apple Tavern, and there are phrases for used stink and love potions on women as well. Every time we find the poster, narrator Alistair shall have read what was written on it, and during the Beanstalk bonus level, shall have been talking to us. The audio files are all mixed up, so let's listen to the files relating to both. Tom Thumb wanted for giving the finger. Farmer's wife wanted for assault with intent to detail three blind mice. Georgie Porgy wanted for kissing girls and making them cry. Rumpelstiltskin wanted for spinning a yarn. The Emperor wanted for indecent exposure. Little Bo Peep wanted for animal neglect. Pinocchio wanted for perjury. Congratulations, you've earned your way into a bonus level. Well done, you've opened up a bonus level. Get ready. Here we go. A wanted poster is yours. You're a champ. What an ace. Every third one sends you off to a magical place. Your coin collection skills have been tabulated. Verdict? Inconclusive. Congrats. Leave no coin behind. I don't believe it. You picked up every single coin. You are the one. Gotta get those coins quick, big fella. Clocks are ticking. Time's almost up. Almost got them all. Accent on almost. Hustle, ogre. Almost there. Stay on target. Not bad. Not bad at all. What a fabulous spree you can have. Hurry, donkey. This is not a game. Get them gotten while the gotten's getting good. Don't forget those coins over there. Your other there. You did okay. For you. Keep practicing and maybe next time you'll get more coins. Uh-oh. Things are looking down. Lame style. All right, contestant, race through this level and collect as many coins as you can. You're on a strict time limit, so no clowning around like the rest of the game. Start the clock and go. The coins won't collect themselves, adventurer. To collect a coin, simply collect it. Easy to learn, hard to master. The clock is ticking. Time is passing. Almost out of time. No pressure, no reward, no kidding. The big bad wolf, wanted for destruction of private property, puffing, causing a public disturbance, huffing, and eating grandmothers. Godelocks, wanted for breaking, entering, petty larceny, graft. The knave of hearts, wanted for pastry theft. Go, go, go! Let's get it in second gear. Get all the coins you can. Pick up the pace. Humpty Dumpty, wanted for loitering, reckless behavior, and egging public property. The Pied Piper. Wanted for kidnapping, unlicensed vermin control, and racketeering. Very nice. you found a most wanted poster. Every third poster takes you to a bonus round. The hare. Wanted for multiple speeding offenses. The giant. Wanted for construction without a permit. Beanstalk does not comply with city building codes. Chicken little. Wanted for inciting civil unrest and for being a little foul. Citizens. In the game we see them during the cutscene in the office of Fairy Godmother, and on the Mongo level in a reduced form. So let's look at the female and male models. Five women and five men. Fairy Godmother's office. This is a map, but we only see it as a cutscene, so when we go into the corridor, there are four paintings on the wall. Because of the position of the camera, we only see the fourth picture with the flying peak. It's promotional posters Fairy Godmother's achievements. The first two pictures are of Cinderella. This one says, you are the tops, cinders. I found a better version on the internet. The second shoe are flying peak. It says, thanks PGM, Pegasus. I found this one in better quality too. Also on the same map of the office is this picture, which we do not see in the cutscene. The three levels have pictures with the names of the levels and their ordinal numbers. The level for donkey in the factory, the prison level for puss in boots, and the prison level for Shrek. There should also be billboards with the fairy godmother and far far away on the hamlet level. Snow White. The girl in game is blonde for some reason, but it's really Snow White. The coffin is in Seven Brothers Mining which of course reverts to the seven dwarves. The game file confirmed why the developers changed her hair color is unclear. In the Hamlet level there is a house under the tree. In the files it's marked as Yoda house, 
which refers to Yoda's hut in Star Wars. The boss bandit in the Hamlet level has his own recorded voice lines, but he only uses exclamations in the game. Be gone, you fiendish ogre! Go away, I'm reading! Be gone! Thou knowest not what thou hast awakened! Hie thee back to thy mouldering lair, foul beast! The entire rest of the swamp be thine, ogre! Goeth, vexeth me not, ogre! If thee see any large leaves out there, please slideth them under the door on thy way! Prepare to meet your maker. You think you're going to get over this bridge? Think again, Ogre. When the fairy godmother shoot us with transformal spells, one of them turn us into a white mouse. Because of the position of the camera we can't see it, but it's a blind mouse. Image in the game's save slot for level Hamlet. Here the peasant children are at the bottom, and in the game they are on the house boot. The leprechaun has voice lines in the audio files, and he is also listed in the credits, but unlike the console version, he is supposed to be the enemy based on the phrases here. Hey! I'm busy! Beat it! Do you mind? I'm scrayed! Oh, hey! Wait your turn, Charlie! Ah, for crying out loud! You mind, Polly? What gives? I am Igora! This is a fine time to be bothering other saints, so mercy be praised! Off with you now! A poor me shillelagh be a blarney stone in ya! Model of the supposed unrealized enemy bad fish. The files contain this witch sign. Unused hourglass. Unused mouse potion that turns enemies into mice. Unused pixie potion when enemies are attacked by fairies. In the game there was supposed to be a slot machine where we should put money and get something out of it. Parts of the machine, the money window, and the following slots could be won. Pixie potion, not painted as a bottle, mouse potion, some kind of bottle, apparently for the scrolling effect, a potion with a muscle arm, most likely an early version of the Kpo extra strength potion, a clover to increase the health scale, a hero bar, and a box to refill health. And there are sounds for this machine. The files contain this poster of Shrek. In the folder with name tag demo folder there is this writing. In the fonts there is Unreal Tournament font 2003. One of the sounds is signed with a sphere word. I finally finished this video. Bye bye.